to limit greenhouse gas emissions. One simple idea is to make the polluters pay and reward those industries that reduce their CO2 emissions. But how? Through a carbon market where emission allowances can be traded, the EU emissions trading system was created in 2005. Each member state fixes emissions quotas for its industries, validated by the European Commission. These quotas decrease year on year. The main greenhouse gas emitting industries receive allowances or buy them at auctions. When a company emits less CO2 than its limit, it can then sell the surplus. But if it exceeds its limit, it can buy additional allowances on the market. On paper, this system favours the virtuous and pushes the polluters to adopt greener production methods. But with the economic and financial crisis, the price of a tonne of CO2 crashed. This price should exceed 25 euros in order to encourage companies and countries to act. To counteract this perverse effect, the European Parliament voted in favour of temporarily withdrawing 900 million tonnes of CO2 from the market in 2013 to 2015. MEPs also approved an automatic mechanism for withdrawing part of the quotas from the market and transferring them to a reserve if the surplus exceeded a certain limit. More than 11,000 companies active in sectors such as aviation, energy and the manufacture of pulp are subject to emissions quotas. Sectors like buildings, non-air transport and waste are not yet concerned. It seems to be cut off.